A father and trained pastry chef from Long Island trading his life in East Hampton for the front lines in Ukraine. Tonight, he's on the ground in the war zone, risking his life to help the wounded and those who have lost everything during the invasion. Wow. He spoke to our Jody Goldberg from across the world about why he traveled into certain danger to join the war effort. There's constantly bombings, artillery strikes, gunfire. But Christopher Colas wouldn't want to be anywhere else. The Long Island native is speaking to us from an undisclosed location close to the capital, Kyiv. And during a time when thousands of Ukrainians are fearing for their lives, the 31-year-old is putting his on the line. Bringing aid to people who need it, whether that's food, medical supplies, um, doing on the ground, you know, medical treatment to people who need it immediately in conflict zones. Kalas helped his wife, who is from Ukraine, and their six-month-old baby girl safely get to Portugal. Now he's back in the war-torn country with a team of doctors and military personnel. While he's neither of those, the chef from East Hampton is using his knowledge of Ukraine and the contacts he's made to assist the aid efforts. We've had people firing at us in our direction towards us. The self-funded group already helped more than 40 people. They're hoping for more financial support and medical supplies to continue with the humanitarian efforts. After getting here and getting on the ground, nobody wants to leave until this is over and hopefully we win. Colas, who prior to the war split his time between New York and Ukraine, says despite the destruction and despair, Ukrainians are some of the most resilient people he's ever met. Even if you walk down the street and you see a building that's no longer there or the ground littered with shell casing, somehow I would say the morale is still quite strong. And while their days are long and the loss is heartbreaking. From 6.30 in the morning until 7-ish at night, um, we're just running at full steam. Colas is determined to make sure there's still a Ukraine for his family to live in and most importantly for his daughter to grow up in. I like to believe that in 10 years I can tell her that what we did here helped to preserve a Ukraine for her to grow up in when she's older. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.